you join me back in Newton the Willows, where we finished the last episode. Uh, on our new line, our elongated big boy regional line out to Leighton Stone ultimately. But for now, just Newton the Willows. There is one of our regional trains, it is a... Oh god, it's a GNR Large Boiler Atlantic. Yep. With some GWR coaches, because I don't have any GNR coaches and the GWR ones... Well, GWR were always quite advanced when it came to coach design. They left Clarestries behind quite early on. Or Clear Story. I don't even know. Is it Clarestory or Clear Story? I'm never quite sure. Right. Yeah, so we have this lovely bridge, actually. That just goes over the road. By the uh, iron mine. Ooh, iron. Is there a coal nearby? Or is there a steel nearby? If there's a steel nearby, I can look for coal and... I found coal. There's the steel. Bishop Auckland. Oh, that's even more trains on that main line. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, but what we do have... Harpenden wants fuel. Camelford wants fuel. Who else wants fuel? Stroud wants fuel, but that's a ways off. However, we are bringing our passenger line from here, and we're going to go up there to Stroud, and come back on Newton the Willows, and have like a station here at this end, which I think is the north? Yes, Newton the Willows north. And there's going to be a junction about here, maybe, and it'll go down into Leighton Stone. Right. So we could do some of that. It sounds like an idea. I'm enjoying that idea. But... I do want to get the mainline quad tracked up to the junction here at Andover. I'm gonna go straight on and do that. Okay, here we go. Here's what I'm gonna do. So. This is just gonna be freight on this side. So it's just gonna be strapped onto the side and it's just gonna be for freight trains. So this it's not gonna be as heavily trafficked. So it's just gonna be a single track and it's gonna pull off. No Katina is yet. Okay, so I'm just going to start the 4-track array here. And it's going to be just that, basically. And that is going to link on like that. And then there's going to be a double slip there. It's a very compact piece of track work, I think you will agree. Right. And our goal with uh, like how we avoid situations like this where we are on the town border and where we're on the town is I will just tunnel under the town so this is quite a lavish project And like that, we have our tunnel under Andover. So let's keep building up and come back into line with the main line. Just as it starts to curve the other way, I think. There. So there is the first major engineering project, the Freight Divergence Tunnel Avoider Andover Keep Happy Branch. A uh, catchier name pending.
The Andover Key Pappy Branch. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I would have liked it without that kink in it, but this is a really nice compact setup to just bring the freight lines back in the main line when there's less of them. That's the key thing here. The Corby Freight Train is only on the main line for this little bit. And then from there, we haven't even set up Bishop Auckland with freight yet, so it's just the Harlow Freight Train. Um, with the Southold Freight Train pulling off literally instantly, and the Corby one reaching Corby literally there. So this line doesn't even need to be that high capacity, and it will free up the main line no end. Right, so Red Hill cutting. And then we'll curve around Red Hill Station like that. And then come back on. I call those beans, bean interchanges, because they, they look like beans. Right. Here we go. And look at that, it links in so perfectly with the existing freight line. I'm going to leave I'm going to have a connector there so that it will work. But for now, uh, just for while I'm building this even. That's a road. I'm going to have the railway doing that. I'm going to bring that back a bit actually. There we go. No, do, do. no that's roads. So we're coming around the corner just a little bit. Oh, look at how gorgeous. That is just such a subtle piece of roundage. Right, so this is where our previously double-tracked freight line becomes single-track. Oh, that's the wrong line. Okay, I'm going to delete back from there and hopefully create something even more tasteful. Or less tasteful, depending on your preferences. No, I don't even care about preferences. That is tasteful. Tasteful, this is that. So, as before, we have this concerning incompatibility with the Hearn Bay train that we have now completely disconnected. That's a worry. And I can't say, but what, not what I'm going to face right now, because the Hearn Bay train, as far as I remember, is one of those lines that needs all the help it can get to make a profit. There we go. We're done. That's the main line for now quad tracked. So what I'm going to do... What I'm going to do with regards to the Hearn Bay train is something way over-engineered. So I'm going to bring this track out at 40 miles an hour. And I'm going to bring this track out at 40 miles an hour. 
and I'm going to pull this one away. Jeez, there's no space here. Oh, I can't even do it there. Okay, but basically my plan is to build, like, a, another overpass. Oh, this is gonna be so messy. But what it is also gonna be... ...is tasteful. And if you don't agree with me on that, well, you're just wrong. Because it's tasteful, I don't even care anymore. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's... How low can I go? There. Okay, so I want to create a bridge that puts its feet down not too high not too low there looks fine I can always move the road which I am very very planning. Very planning. That's a word. Phrase. Piece of lexicon. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Tasteful infrastructure project. Taste for learning for George Project are two words that only make you what? Your food. Uh huh? Do you want food? What kind of food? Food. Is someone going shopping? No. I'll get my own food. That was my sister. Do you? Do you? Right now. Ooh, I wonder if I could get elevation. Like enough elevation to get past. To get over. The existing freight line. No. Nowhere near enough. I don't even have time to do that. What I can do is just get that much, or even have a very tasteful flat junction or have a very tasteful massive incline about here no okay i think this one is going to have to go up higher than this one, and then come back down. There we go. Yeah, so this one... Up. Because... We might be able to get over that railway line now. Like, the existing freight line. Not this weird Frankenstein new one.
Also, big bridges are tasteful. Tasteful infrastructure. Two words that, for much of this uh, 21st century that we're living in now, have not gone together that well. Too much slip. Collision. We've got all of them today. They've all joined the party. Oof. Yeah, I really don't have much space to work this in. Hmm. I wonder if I didn't need to go that high up. And like, just enough to stop it freaking out when it went over the main line was going to be in... That's a road. So if I flatten... Like that. That is tasteful. No, it's that one. This UI, honestly, it looks amazing, and I'm sure when you know it, it works really well. But it is confusing while you're learning how it works. Okay, now I'm gonna jinx the entire project and try and fix this to stop it looking so janky. Okay, here we go. Yep. Okay, let's bin that one. Yep. Yeah, I've just jinxed the entire project. I think lesson number one in building tasteful infrastructure is take what you're given and run like mad. Because you never know when it might say, aha, nope. Ooh. There we go. That is what we call in the biz. I, mm, I'm gonna, I can fix it later. But for now, that is what we call in the business tasteful architecture, etc. Oh, are we doing it again? I think we're doing it again. Oh, we're deleting back to here now. I think we are, you know. I think we are deleting it back to there, you know. What possibly could they- oh. To increase the amount of taste That seems to be full of taste. Like most of my projects aren't. Bing. Okay. Yes. No, 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 I want a bridge. How much of this episode is going to be me fighting with the system to try and get a bridge? Well, I mean, so long as I don't delete to crossing the railway, I am good. Perhaps? Because, you know, I would like a bridge. I do wish there was a way you could force a bridge to form instead of a, like, an embankment. Because bridges are just more tasteful. And there is not tasteful. We're doing this. Are we, are we doing this? Me? It would appear so. There we go. That seems tasteful enough.
That seems tasteful enough. That seems tasteful enough. Okay, now we'll run at this height for a little while. Or get down like as fast as possible. Now you know what we'll do? We'll run at this height for a little while. And force that road to make a tunnel. We're gonna do our first get the road out the way properly thing. I think. I don't think I've done any, any those sort of elaborate infrastructure projects that only serve the purpose of getting the road out the way so you don't have to have a level crossing type projects. Yet. Oh, but they're gonna be a thing when trains start going fast. When trains start going fast, oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot of that. I do believe the proper tin is grade separated. Okay, shut up, you nerd. I think you're witnessing the lockdown getting to me. Okay, you know what? Big, long, speedy boy. Just in case we end up getting freight trains that are, like, actually fast. 65 seems good enough. Ooh. Shiny. Okay, let's look at how tasteful this is. I mean, big infrastructure projects always tasteful. Because the Jubilee Line extension didn't exist. Yeah, I know. I just called the Jubilee Line extension untasteful. Come at me, bro. I guess. No, 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 the Jubilee line, like, the JLE was pretty tasteful. Oh, no, I want Wiggly, Wigglies. We're building country road, give me the wiggles. There you go. Ugh. I mean, the gradients are Severe. Oh, this one isn't that bad. It's pretty shocking, actually. Okay. So. Skignals. Because, yes. Now that we're routing freight trains down this, we need Skignals. Let's get the flyover done first. And we'll just do enough to protect the junctions at either end, which will be that. Good. Yes. And then we will in line with the main line. Oh no, I did that the wrong way. Oh well. We will place in line with the main line our signals for the freight line. Mm. No signals here. I'll make up for it by placing some here instead. And then there's going to be a signal there and a signal there. No signals in the Andover Fun Tunnel. These signals on the main line really are quite spaced out. And then enough signaling to protect the junction with the main line like that. Okay, now let's look. Aha! The freight lines are using the new thing. And the Herne Bay train is using the new extra thing. Oh, this is great. This one is a Corby train. So let's do the whole thing. This 
this whole sort of Warwick area is like even better than let any area on the map. I'm not gonna go so far as to say as better than the mountain railway, but I am tempted. I am tempted to say that this is better than the mountain railway. Oh, it's so nice. We're not going to be holding the mainline trains up. They're just going to go whizzing past us, and it's going to be amazing. And if, for whatever reason, there are freight trains that are faster than the mainline trains, the mainline trains aren't going to be holding up the freight trains, but the freight trains are always going to be slower than the mainline trains because that's how freight trains work. I mean, it's not, but, you know, eh. Ooh. Oh jeez, that platform is really busy. Oh yeah, I never put that road back in. Oh well. I guess they'll just have to take the train. And give me more money. This tunnel is the Andover Fun Tunnel that stops the Andover people getting mad at pollution because trains, and anything really, can't cause pollution if it's in a tunnel. Because, you know, the tunnel like suppresses the pollution to like inside the tunnel. But because really the only form of pollution that this game counts is noise, you never have to clean out your, like there's no sort of mechanic we have to clean your tunnels of pollution. Look at that. That is a passenger train. No it's not, it's that. Oh no, there's also a passenger train. But we're never going to see it again because we are faster than that passenger train. No, wait, no. That passenger train is faster than we are. There we go. And then we beep. Ooh. And we're on the main line for just a few seconds, really. Yeah, you wait for me, boss. Ooh, we have the Russian class. And some double decker Wien trams. Dein Wien Venice. Not Venice, Vienna. And a new American what's it? Lit. Ooh, do we have any tram networks that are so profitable it's basically telling me that they're full? Uh, no. However, all of these are new. Oh no! When the trams are bad, Leighton Stone doesn't like it. Hang on. Uh, nope. Yeah, Leighton Stone doesn't like it when the trams are bad because they're really sensitive to pollution. That's not what I wanted to click. That's what I wanted to click. Manage vehicles. No. That one. Amazing maintenance, please. Thank you. Leighton Stone will struggle to grow until it gets a really good connection to the outside because I messed it up with trams. Right, but that's not what we're sorting out today. We are going to get the Bishop Auckland tram network some more trams. Because these trams are really old. They are the Stadtbahn Halle. Okay, replace all of these. 
you know, let's put the running costs on high and replace them with the new double decker Venice trams. Okay, the 453. Oh. The only difference that I can see is that one is grey and one is red. Uh, I can change that in post. Ooh, no. However, this is a very important. Oh. Right. Um. Right, I didn't think that through, did I? I really didn't think that through. Okay, I'm gonna reverse you. Nope. Oh, I've messed it up. Big time. I'm just gonna place a signal. Up there. Right. You are gonna go back. Fine, to a signal. I should probably pause this when I'm not, like, having trains shunt around. Right, there we go. Then I'm gonna have that one head that way. No! Oh no! Make sure that when you're deleting a track, you when no, that's that's what you have to make sure you're not doing. Right. I mean, it got rid of the signal. Right. Back to what I was doing in a base hop outland. Tram 9. Manage vehicles. Let's uh, fix those up. Coming from the end of the Habsburg monarchy, two experimental double decker cars were built according to were built according to American model for the Vienna tram. In order for the car to be freely usable throughout the entire network, despite its double-tick design, the car had to be placed as low as possible and the only resulted in a vehicle that was ahead of its ahead of its time. Low floor entrances, bogies, contractor control system, air brakes, drivers, cab, and separate from the passenger compartment. <gasps> the two vehicles did not prove their worth after only 17 years. Parked and dismantled. Oh, okay. I don't care. Oh no, I need- I want to replace them all. So now we have... Double decks! Double decker trams! Which were far ahead of their time. Oh, they look reasonably modern as well when you consider this is 1915 that these trams are coming out in. That's really good. Enjoying very enjoying that. This is not enjoying that hill. And this is like, I think this is the thing with old double deck trams. is because they have that extra weight of the double deck, but they still have the same number of wheels and the same number of motors as the single deck tram. And in early, the early days, motors weren't that powerful. Steam engines were just as powerful but they were slightly bigger. Oh, but I love the animation of the bogies, that's so good. Oh, this, tra this mod is really good. 
Very enjoy. Very enjoy. Me. Do 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 boo boo do. Oh, it makes little. It has its own motor noises. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Listen to that. I love that. Also, what's this with the wider upper deck? <gasps> Whoa! It's for like a knife board style seating array. I know we say longitudinal these days, but that's what like, it was called when they were down the middle back in the day. As far as I'm aware. I just really like the tramps. How far am I into the recording? OBS? 36 minutes. Time really does fly in this game. I mean, my college stuff has started back up again. I really should have taken advantage of how much time I had in the past two weeks. And I should have spent a longer, like maybe two, three hours recording, but I don't have the disk space for that. That's a shame. But yeah, that is something I want to do. Sit, like, you know, have a good multi-hour, like, three, four, five-hour session at some point. And just do transport fever for those five, four, like, three, four, five hours. and then condense it down to maybe one or two. Because Transport Fever is that sort of game that you can play for hours. Oh, look at this. And then because like the maps are all procedur procedurally generated. There we go. You can English, right? Yeah, I thought so. Um, oh no, what's the Um. Yeah, because the maps are all procedurally generated and stuff, there's literally, like, unless I had shown you exactly how I'd set up this map, you couldn't make this map. You, you, you couldn't. Because you'd have to know the seed, you'd have to know the map settings, and I haven't shown you either of those, to my knowledge. Next series, I'll be doing a temperate map. I don't know how long I'm going to take this one, probably right to the end of the game, because, you know, first series on Transport Fever that I'm actually taking somewhere. Um, who knows, I might just take this to, like, the 90s, and, like, pick up from the 50s again, on a temperate map sort of situation, I don't know. But, there is a mod, I think it's called Terrain Fever, and it's a terrain, a new version of terrain generator that someone in the community developed for the ter for the temperate map i'm not sure if the um dry and tropical maps are soon to be supported but it just adds a whole lot more variables and they're more finely tunable so like where the default transport fever uh map settings for terrain just say water Terrain Fever Inc. has separate ones for rivers and lakes, which is really nice. And I was playing about with Terrain Fever, but I was like, eh, really, do I want, should I go tropical and have a different map for once? And well, as you can see, I settled on tropical because I wanted a different map for once. And I'm really enjoying the tropical map, it looks really good. Temperate is more like familiar to me as someone who lives in a temperate country, but I mean, apart from that, really liking the tropical map. Pern Bay is oofed, um, 
Suthold is also moved. What's happening here? Hmm. Should I start delivering food and just see how big I can make Suthold? Oh, that'd be great. Looking at extending the railway to Leytonstone. Leytonstone wants goods, they have a goods factory right there. They do. Whoa. And there's a plastics one there, there's oil to better oil, there's some normal oil there, and there's surely some closer. Um, and there's iron, there's coal. Uh, where's the steel? Where's the steel? There's a steel. I can make goods literally just in this area, which is nice. Okay, back to the main line. Because I need to populate Chonky Boy. Chonky Boy needs populating. So... Chonky boy, I shall populate. Actually, first, let's look at this. Yeah, we are hitting revenue ceilings, sort of about here. There is a revenue ceiling. So, I know these vehicles aren't old, but I'm going to replace them with bigger and better things. Ooh, generic 060. Oh yeah, that's like an old freight. What's it? Like, it's slow as well. Uh, oh, we have the Yi. Okay, so, first contender. 75 miles an hour. Pretty damn powerful. It's a 460 or a 464 as a tank engine, but they have the exact same specs. It's just one is a tank engine and one's a tender. Uh, then there's this one, which is 70 miles an hour. More powerful, well no, less powerful. Then of course there's the GNR Large Atlantic. And we are currently using the LSWR Greyhounds, which are nice. I'm gonna use the L2. 460. And to it, I am going to couple these. Uh, I'm going to go for six coaches. Yes. Not just five. Okay, let's just see how that color scheme looks for now. Just the default colors. You know what, it looks good. I do like the L-Class, the L-Class does look nice. Uh, manage vehicle, and then just uncheck that so it does all of them, and... Love it. And we should get a nice view as it comes down this brick. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the way that this lake is, and the way that I've built the railway around the lake, makes a branch to Westerham very, very difficult. Oh, however, I could take a branch off of here, yes, and feed it around the lake, ooh, yes, and then bring it around here, yes, and into Westerham, like that. Feed through the mountain gully. Stop at Hall Whistle. Come around Hall Whistle. Ooh. Or do something fancy with a railway here. Like that. 
because this looks better, but it's probably worse. I think it's worse. <sighs> right, and then from there, uh, yeah, so if we did that, we can then feed between those mountains and go to fleet. And I. And Wigan. And Skegness. And Leightonstone. And that is how we go junction to junction. Or, you know what, we could just bring... No, because the, the, it's on a very beautiful bridge and I don't want to disturb that. I, I, the aesthetic is too powerful. Oh look, there's a decent bit between where it sort of goes from embankment to cutting and a tunnel entrance. So we could have it go like that and have like a railway skirting this step. That's an interesting idea. That's a very interesting thought. That is a very interesting thought indeed. Where are you going? Corby. Oh. Well, you're running full every time, so... Uh, replace... With something largely the same. Now I'm gonna go with a mogul. A GWR mogul, or LSWR, or LBSCR mogul. Uh, LBSCR mogul should look good. Yeah. Grey. Is it that grey? I can't remember. I think it is. I'm gonna do that grey. Okay, good. And then cargo. Uh, steak car. Oh no. The new gen stuff is all down here. Okay, this one that carries 12. And it is 20 tons. But, it is 10 meters long. This one carries 12, is 12 tons, and is 12 meters long. You know what? I'll take it. One. Oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> Replacing all the mainline trains just totally rinsed me. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, that bank account hasn't been that low in a long time. Right, Steam. LBSCR mogul. There we go. And I'm going to go for double the capacity. So, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It still says good. I want to keep it good, but I want to stop it from being mediocre. You know what? I'm going to keep that. That's the wrong one. Wow, I nearly put 31 mile an hour wagons on it. Oh, I'm such an idiot. There we go. I didn't even count that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. That is 18. Yeah, as I thought. Yeah, that's the longest we can make that. I mean, 
Jesus. That's gonna be good, though. That is gonna be so, like, unbelievably good. Once, um, once, of course, it's getting running. We're waiting for money. That's something we haven't done for a long time. Because normally, we just have it. Because we're just that big of a corporation. Oh, heck. It's there. That's really cool. It's just there already. It looks really cool. It's got this sort of new European style of uh, sleeper. Uh, not sleeper, state car. And we're waiting on that which is the thing. Cheltenham train. Yes, now that is going. And we can get a proper look at this thing on the move. Oh, look at this thing. It's grey, which is gorgeous. I love the colour grey. It's not even a colour. It's more like an acknowledgement of matter. It's like, yes, you exist, you are now grey. Which I mean, I live for it. And we'll just bump that up to high so that it stays fine. We lost one mile an hour in the steep gradients on that underpass. That's impressive. These moguls really are nice. They really are. They're just small, but they have so much power. It's so much better than, like, the things that we were coming from, the 060s and stuff. That sort of front axle just gives you that extra length to have a bigger boiler. Oh, and there's so there is enough material waiting here for the big Corby train. Yeah, we spent 119 million that year, and then 12 million that year, and. <laughs> oh, this thing is gonna make so much money. Uh, how long have I been recording? 53 minutes. Right. I'm gonna end it here. Or, I mean, we're gonna go on a cab ride. And then I'll end it. Of the Corby freight run. End to end, as seen from atop the smoke box of a newly replaced train. So, today we've replaced some trams, we've built, a, we've fixed some capacity issues on the main line, uh, we have replaced the main line passenger fleet. Uh, we waited for money for the first time in a few episodes now. Uh, we... Thing. Um, we replaced a freight train to, like, optimize it for stuff, which is good. And then we rode it, and I did an outro, which seems pretty legit to me. Ooh, tunnel. Yeah, those wagons are a bad choice. They're small, but they are heavy. So, four track section. Condenses into one track section. For, what's it? For that. Which I mean, 
I could do that double jacked, but I couldn't bring it back down to single track to actually get under the station. So we are going to have this bottleneck here for as long as we have this magnificent overpass. And I do not want to lose the magnificent overpass, so the magnificent overpass is staying just as he is. Okay? That's good. I mean, you know, I could always do like an underpass and feed two tracks up so that we're only in feed, yeah, two tracks up underneath the mainline tracks and then condense them down to one track to go through the station and then open them back up to two tracks, but that makes too much sense, okay? And we lose the beautiful overpass. I mean, I could do it as an overpass, but it's not the same as the tunnel under the station, which just looks amazing. Ah, uh, four tracks. Four track mainline is when you know you're successful, when you have four track mainlines. Out of need. Like, out of necessity, you're building four track mainlines, that's when you know you're doing well. Or really badly, because you have that bad a capacity issue on the twin track system because your signalling is so bad, which I think is actually what caused this. I have no idea, I'm just speculating. hunched over the keyboard or radio, which is not ergonomic. And this is the Andover Fun Tunnel, where we fun in the Andover Tunnel. Oh, really, we keep the residents of Andover having fun, because they're not worrying about, like, pollution. And then... Yeah, we were on the main line for a train length. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Oh, really? The Mikado? Nice. Thirteen million! I will see you later. Bye-bye.